Can building an airplane turn a life around? In Arlington, high school students just finished building a real plane. But as King 5's aviation specialist Glenn Farley shows us, it's the story behind the build that is making the news. Okay, cycle through it. They are high school students. Go ahead. Four of them from a struggling school in Las Vegas, Nevada, where only about a third of the kids graduate. Awesome. But still, they are here, bringing an airplane to life. Come, come look real quick. Okay. Under the guidance of mechanics at Arlington Airplane Manufacturer, Glass Air. Uh, one of them, Josh, had never been on a plane, period, in his whole life. They don't have internet. They don't have a computer at home. Yet they use computers at school to design a plane that was so good, the entry beat out 79 other high schools nationwide. The chance to come to Glass Air and actually build a plane, the prize. If you really want something, you have to do it. Okay, confirm air filter is secured. The win is a life changer for Carlos Alvarado. Very secure. Yeah. And my mom, she is working in, well, as, a, as a maid. He was already heading to college. At first, I had, I was like, wow, general studies, probably go to college, that's it. But now I'm thinking about being an aerospace engineer. Sunrise Mountain High School is making a turnaround, in part because of volunteers like Reza Kamaruz, who heads the Nevada Business Aviation Association and started the Aviation Club. They were all talk about it. The competition is sponsored by the General Aviation Manufacturers Association. This trip to Arlington, all expenses paid. And after two weeks of turning what started as a kit into a functioning airplane, everybody climbs on board. For a little engine test, To the first taxi. To let these kids know what's out there. Yeah, yeah. Give them the opportunity, get them hands on, and it's amazing how far they can go. In Arlington, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Uh, the FAA certified the plane as airworthy this afternoon. The kids head back to Las Vegas tomorrow and should get to fly it later on this summer.